You've been writing and writing, and now you have a whole lot of poems, or maybe book chapters, or maybe even recipes. And it's time to put them together into a manuscript, a book manuscript, something like this, that has, you know, a, a table of contents and page numbers. I'm Joni Stanglin, and I'm here at Richard Hugo House in Seattle, and I want to show you how to make a manuscript. I'm going to start with the poem that I want to use first in my manuscript, and right away I'll come up here and save it with a new file name. I'll call it Manuscript. Click Save. And then I want to get rid of this header, so I just double click and select it and press Delete. Now I want to select the title and apply a Heading 1 style. That's a little flashier than I want, so I'll come up here and I will change the font to Times New Roman 12, No Bold, and Automatic. Now I'm going to want to use the same formatting for all the titles in my manuscript, so I'll right-click this, point to Styles, and then click Update Heading 1 to Match Selection. There, the first poem's done. I'll come down here, and now you can't see me do this, but I'm going to hold down Control and press Enter. That's the fastest way that I know of to get a new page. Now I'll open up the second poem, and I select it. And I hold down Control and press C for copy. Come back to my manuscript, hold down Control and press V for paste. I select the title. Apply Heading 1. That worked out nicely. And I hold down Control, press Enter again. I'm on the third page already. Now I'm going to have a little ta-da moment because you don't want to watch me put all these poems in. And instead, I have a manuscript here that already has all the poems in it. And that means it's time to add our title page and our table of contents. So first, I'll click the Page Layout tab click Breaks, and I want to click Next Page Section Break. I can come up here, and I can go a little ways down on the page, and then I'll type in the title. Now I'm going to hold down Control again and press Enter, and it's time for my table of contents. So I'll type Contents, and I will click the References tab and click Table of Contents and then I will click Insert Table of Contents. Now this is important where it says Show Levels 3, I want to change that to 1. And then I click OK. Now again, for some reason we've got this tiny, tiny type well, it's not that small, but it's 10 points, and that's a little small. I'm going to change that to 12. And now I have my table of contents, and I have my title page, and I have all my poems in my manuscript. Next time, we'll cover adding page numbers to your manuscript. In the meantime, keep writing.